hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm ivan dunde if you're new here you're most welcome and if you're a returning subscriber uh, welcome back so in this video i want to share with you how i keep my room clean and dust free so i'll be cleaning um, my bedroom well not everything but mostly the windows and my bed dusting where there needs where there is dust because it collects a lot in the course of the week i wash my room every um week every weekend but this is in the course of the week and dust has accumulated so that's what i was doing here cleaning my bed and this is my headboard and cleaning my windows because so much dust has collected over the course of the week so next up i'll be moving to my uh, bathroom also dust collects here a lot a lot so i'll be cleaning my sink and the toilet i do this every single week which is something that you should consider consider doing because it really makes the room look really clean and dust free and i don't like a dusty room besides that i'm very allergic to dust so i have to do this every every single time and so this looks much better dusting makes things so much better and i feel quite good that i've actually done this right now Whew. cleaning up relaxes someone and organizing so i also went ahead and cleaned up this area in my bathroom as you can see most of the things i keep in my boxes or in the boxes i buy them with and i really didn't need that so i went ahead and organized everything that i did not need and every foundation that i haven't used in over six months i was gonna get rid of it and organize the rest and create room for more products so i did this really quickly it didn't i didn't waste so much time because there wasn't really so much to get rid of but um i created space for everything that i had stored away as well and yeah this was the perfect time to do it because i get so lazy at times and just let it stay as it is so yeah Something different You must be made for me Patience is everything In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Back more, I don't know Why you love me, yeah You got it bad, you got it bad for me, babe I know so glad This place looks much better, more organized. I can now reach whatever I want to reach so quickly. And my brushes, my masks, hair brushes, treatments. Yeah, looks much better. I love how it looks right now. Not so much clouded. Crowded. So in this is what I'm gonna throw away. Because yeah, and this is supposed to go. Let me put it here. It's my toner. It's going to go there. And this brush, I'm gonna look for a space because there's space still here. This is my hair. Oh, so then this place also looks much organized. This is a candle holder which I have never known where I should place it better cause yeah. More eye brushes, my shaving stuff, uh more products, hair products, and these are my face masks. More hair products, more brushes just behind and 
Now this is for cleaning, which I'm supposed to do just now in a short while. Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I want to quickly just say this. Uh, the reason why I cook food maybe like twice is because uh, I have to cook for my husband and you, uh, he's not Kikuyu, I am Kikuyu. So we have been brought up with this notion that uh, it is a dream, oh, your husband can cook or can eat whatever kind of food that is in the house. Well, this doesn't apply to every person and if you are married, you understand this. Thing is, I love cooking. No questions, no doubt, I love cooking and I love doing it for my husband. But also, I make a lot of food which will take the kids mostly, or most of the times, up to the next day. Because I have a small one who doesn't go to school, one goes to school. So if they do not eat today, they, excuse me, they have food that they can eat like tomorrow i don't know if you get if, if you're getting what i mean but my my husband hates eating uh fridge food like food that's been in the fridge for like a month so and he doesn't mind providing by the way he doesn't mind at all providing if i tell him oh gas emisha he will provide us with gas if i tell him electricity emisha he will provide for all that if i tell him uh there's certain foods in the house uh is finished he will give me the money to go and buy so we do not really mind uh i do not mind cooking each and every time that uh he has to eat if you didn't know he's on this uh journey that uh he has to fast he's been trying to lose weight and he has lost a tremendous amount of weight which is what by the way inspired me to lose weight as well uh, i was around 85 right now i am around 75 so that's amazing him he was around uh 90 right now he's even below me i still love food he's below me and uh he's i think around 70 around 70 i am not quite sure but he's around there about 65 between 65 and 75 but aquapo katikati so sometimes he does not eat like uh he fasts uh he does the there's a name that he has to fast for around 72 hours non-stop he does not eat for 72 hours so if i feel i need to make him food for him to eat and healthy food which uh, it's not the same food as us. Sometimes, if we have white rice, like right now, I have white rice here uh, in my kitchen. We cooked during lunch. I didn't go anywhere today. He will not eat that white rice. He prefers brown rice, so I have to cook for him brown rice. Like right now, there's beans. Um, he can't eat beans. Not that he doesn't eat, but he can't eat beans right now for whatever reasons. Yeah. Which I'll not get into right now. Maybe some someday, someday, if he feels like uh, he wants to share with my audience. Anyway, there's beans. Now those beans will go back to the fridge because I want to cook mushrooms and uh, ki goat kidney. Yeah, goat kidney. So I want to cook that, but I quickly wanted to address the reason why I have to cook every time. And when I when I mention I'm cooking I'm cooking for my husband, it's just a title because it's more eye catching. If you get what I mean, it's more eye catching out there. Like people want to see, ah, oh, she wants to cook for her husband. What does she want to cook? What will he eat? So that was just a title. Not that I cook it for him specifically, unless nimeweka uh, pili pili, because everyone else in the house doesn't eat pepper. Only him. Only him, he's the only one. So I have to kind of uh, make his alone. Now the same food, like nichote kidogo, and then put it in another spray and add some um, pepper to his food, which can also take him about two or three days or so. 
so yeah i quickly wanted to address that but in the meantime let's cook some mushrooms and goat kidneys hey, that sounds weird right sounds weird anyway i have these uh, mushrooms that were brought in last week i think on friday they are still in the fridge because we've been having there, there was food still so i didn't want to cook or overcook so many foods and then put them in the fridge and then uh the haribika so i just decided let me put them in the fridge until um a day when i'll need them which is this week and specifically today let me cook that right now so he can have food now today is on tuesday that means tomorrow he'll not eat or uh on thursday he will eat on friday but later on in the night so yeah, I also uh, promised to be sharing my um, my what I eat in the day. I'll do a video about that and what I did exactly to lose weight. I have a video of that coming soon. In the meantime, let me show you the mushrooms and the kidneys and then chop up everything else to cook with you guys because I love cooking as I said I do love cooking and then today I look like that because it's hella cold I just made some some myself some tea which is in front of me I will be drinking that before I even do the video but I'll not do that with you so let me show you the mushrooms and the meat and then chop up everything and I'll be back here yeah? so here I have my mushrooms which need to be chopped and washed, washed and chopped. I have my onions, I have my nyanya, and I have my kidneys. This is how kidneys uh, look like. I cut them in a half, and I get mine from City Market. I shared a video, but I'll leave it in the description box or in the cards, so you can uh, watch the video of how to make them and they are also boiled that means they will not take that long to get ready it will actually be so fast and i want to use oyster sauce guys if you do not know what this oyster sauce does to your soups just buy one they are in carrefour i saw some in italy as well you can go buy it it goes for around 300 bob this is bomb makes your stews taste so good and have a different smell to it but the good one the good kind so let me first drink my tea and then i'll be back with the video to do all that with you so stay tuned as you can see this food this is rice and that's beans that's what we ate during lunch so that will be in the fridge in a short while and this is my tea also see how cold it is do you see i feel so cold my hands are literally wrinkled up because of cold anyway this is black tea no ginger or anything of the sort because yeah also i just remembered what my husband does the fasting is called autophagy fasting so you can go and check that up in uh, you can google it up or search it up on youtube autophagy fasting yeah that one is the one that really 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 works so check it out and uh, let me know if you can try it in the description box below so let's start cooking and I usually start off by washing all my mushrooms and everything else that needs to be washed or cut that's prepping I do that first and then cooking becomes so so easy I'm out of the 
This is the outcome. Very nice and yummy. Nisha Wonja. It's so so good. So this is very simple. Anyone can do. Boroko nanyama ama chicken ama and mushrooms. This is really nice. Now, sina cooking substitute for mala. Indo mala yenye nimetumia. So you can also make yours. It's really simple and easy. Alright. Indo mchele yangu hapa. Neighbor pole pole. So yeah, it's brown rice. Takes quite a bit quiver. Okay. Hope you subscribe and like and comment. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. Chani malize chayango.